What's with the sourpuss? You don't have a complaint about my fine assortment now, do you? It's good enough, I suppose. Go on! I don't need some uppity tourists making demands. Go somewhere else if you don't like my wares. Go on, get! If you insist, I will. You're not the only merchant around. That's where you're wrong, Missy. Far as I know, this is the only shop in the desert. There was one other fella, but he couldn't cut it. Lost all his drive to sell out here. When that happens, well, that's the same as death to a salesman. So? What made him give up? Damn fool. He bet his dreams on the desert, that's what. Poor old Ramon. He thought he'd make a real name for himself out here, selling to adventurers. But in the end, he lost sight of his dream and his business. Sounds good for you, though he doesn't seem like he was much of a rival anyway. Shut it! You don't know the first thing about him! Didn't mean to offend you. What's there to get so worked up about anyway? N nothing Not a damn thing. It's just like you say. He was nothing at all. It's not like he'd ever been a threat to my business anyway. <laughs> no, not Ramon. I'm done talking about him. If you want to know more, ask him yourself. You'll find him near that old camp in the giant sandbox. He was a pretty strange guy, wasn't he? But if he's really the only merchant around, like he says, then I guess you'll have to count him for help. Unless, of course, you want to find out for yourself about him. What are you doing blundering around here and interrupting my precious sleep? You lost or something? Just looking for a story. I hear that you once had big dreams of striking it rich. <laughs> Whatever dreams I had have been lost under the sands. Then why stay? Why stick it out in the desert? I owe it to my wife. She's gone now, but the one thing she valued more than her own life is still out there in that desert. If I could just get it back. I'd be gone from here and never look back. What could be so important? Her arithmometer. From back when she was alive, back when we still had our shop, my wife was in charge of keeping the books. I never was good at numbers. But my wife, Monica, she lived by that arithmometer. We're gonna have great sales this month. Next month will be the one for us. Plugging numbers into that silly thing of hers. All with the most joyous smile you've ever seen. Hmm. That smile of hers. That was my real treasure. And then one day those monsters stole my treasure away from me. Everything ended. My business. My life. I lost Monica. And her smile. Now the only wares I have to sell to anyone are regret and despair. I see. I'm sorry. Do you really think you'll be able to move on if you find your wife's memento, though? Sure as the desert's dry. If I could just find that arithmometer for her, I'd be done with this place in a heartbeat. You should consider looking for that arithmometer. Help Ramon move on, and you might be able to save him. But Ramon's been looking all this time and never found it. It seems it won't be easy to get back. Is this the arithmometer? It doesn't seem to be working. That must be it. The thing Ramon was looking for. His last memento of his wife. It's broken, but it wouldn't hurt to take it back to him. This is 
lost my wife's. I'd know it anywhere. The arithmometer that she so loved. You've got your wife's memento back, so now you can leave the desert anytime you want. Isn't that right? Like I've got any place else to go. Anyway, it would have been better if you just never found it. I want to say goodbye to the desert where my wife died. But I don't want to leave the desert where she lived. Don't you see? <laughs> now what am I supposed to do? That's up to you. And if you can't figure it out yourself, well... Then why don't you just think about what your wife would have wanted for you? What Monica would have wanted... Is she always wanted me to make it out here as a merchant. Me and my shop. She wanted to help me achieve my dream of striking it rich. I guess you have your answer. If you're going back into business, how about I be your first customer? Yeah. I'd like that. After all, I owe you. You brought me back. You brought our dream back to life. But is it true? Is old Ramon open for business again? All I did was help him get back onto his feet. Helping him at all is more than enough. The world's a pretty hard place to live in these days. You don't see a lot of people helping each other out. <sighs> if there were more good eggs like you around, maybe this place wouldn't have ended up the ghost town that it is. Someone's got to be the first to start. Why not you? What? Because I'm a ruthless, greedy salesman. I don't do a thing if there's no profit in it. Are you sure? For someone who claims to be a ruthless salesman, you look pretty happy to hear about your rival's return. Th that's ridiculous. He'll be out of business again in a week, I'll bet. If he does manage to cut it somehow, a competitor might help me stay on my toes. I'll say this, my wares and my service will both be better than ever. <laughs> I certainly hope so. Don't let me down now. <laughs> <laughs> 